Hey guys, Ben with Pure Pressure here. We're back in the lab today. Last time we showed you the axis system in operation, and today we're gonna to show you how the axis interacts with the filtration system. In this video, we're gonna be following a single brutless vessel through the axis trichome separator in a two vessel workflow. We will be referencing vessel one and vessel two. Starting on the axis trichome separator, we're currently washing vessel number one. Vessel two is sitting ready to be washed. And once the vessel one recipe is complete, the green light will turn off and the buzzer will indicate. We will raise the head of the axis, pivot over to vessel number two, and lower into vessel two. We will make sure the vessel two is aligned properly that the guard is fully engaged and that our interlock lights are turned on and we have a blue indicator. Then we're gonna go over to the control stand, enable the motor and start the recipe on vessel number two. At that point, we now have vessel one free to go over to the filtration station. So we can unlock the casters and roll it over to the filtration station where we're gonna hook it up to the hash pump We've got a short hose and a quick connect clamp ready to go to hook up to the center drain on our 65 gallon wash vessel. The center drain comes out the bottom, goes through a 90 in a straight and a ball valve, giving you a nice location right at the edge of the vessel to attach the hose. Once that's attached, we can open the ball valve on the center drain to start the flow of water into the hash pump. We've got two 44 gallon vessels tied together with a Y. The reason for this is twofold. Um, the combined volume of the two vessels will be able to hold all the water from your 65 gallon vessel. And the shape of the 44 gallon vessel will give you a nice tall uh, filtration bag that can actually filter the hash out of the water more efficiently than a wide, narrow 65 gallon filtration set would. So we want to utilize the shape and design of a 30 or a 44 gallon vessel um, in tandem with a 65 gallon wash vessel. We're ready to transfer the hash rich water into the filtration bag so we can collect the hash. The first thing we're going to do is turn the hash pump on by flipping the lever on the right side. The dial on the left controls the pressure of the pump and the dial in the center will control the flow of air. So you can control your speed with those two dials. And you've also got a pressure indicator right in the middle. So as the hash rich water is going into the filtration bag set, we're gonna be filling up uh, that first 44 gallon vessel. Water is gonna be going through the filter bags down and equalizing with the filtrate with the uh, 44 gallon vessel directly adjacent to it via a Y fitting. So those are gonna equalize in volume and then we're gonna use the centrifugal pump on the remote control to send that water back into our 65 gallon vessel, um, our wash vessel. And we're gonna do that with the uh, drain hook. So we just hook that right on top of the 65, click the remote button for the pump and we'll watch that water transfer over. That's gonna leave all the hash in our filtration bag set. So now that vessel one is refilled, we can roll it back over to the axis and put it in the available location. That vessel is ready to wash and as soon as vessel number two recipe finishes up, we're gonna raise the head, pivot, drop it into vessel number one. We will start the next recipe on vessel one and vessel two will be ready to roll over to the filtration station for further processing. All right, thanks for joining us. That was a quick overview of the uh, water flow and process of the axis and the filtration system and how those two interact. Um, we got to see uh, the efficiencies of the axis and how we can uh, save time by filtering offline and allowing the access to continue processing more material at a continuous rate throughout the day.